There are two ways to run a model railroad. One is simply running trains, which is fun and most people enjoy it. There's also operations, which can add a lot to your model railroad. The problem with operations is that they take a lot of time. And if you're like me, you don't have the time. I've got my twins, my job, my family, housework, plus I do have to eat and sleep sometime. There's just not enough time in the day to do operations on my model railroad. Well... This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them, and if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. I'm drinking some Dunkin' Donuts coffee today, and this is Coffee and Trains. Before we get started, let's talk about some of the coffees you guys are drinking, or in this case, the first guy, just beverages. James Bridges is drinking some green tea. TMA Texas Mechanical Amusements is drinking Sam's Choice 7 a.m. Saturday, and David F. is drinking cafeteria coffee with extra grounds. Remember, if you want to say what coffee you are drinking, maybe it can be featured, put that in the comments below. All all right, now I've got three types of model railroad operations that are quick and fun that you can knock out in about a half hour or less. They also only involve a single locomotive, so no DCC necessary. But the sounds and lights you can have with DCC can make this a lot more fun. Okay, let's get started. The first is the simplest, and it will work on any model railroad so long as you have at least one siding. I'm calling this one the simple switch. The simple switch is where you simply bring a piece of rolling stock or two to a siding with rolling stock on it and you switch them out. You then take the rolling stock you switched out back to where it came from. That could be the other side of a loop if you have a simple loop or it could be to the edge and off of the layout if you have that available. This is pretty simple but like the rest of these it can be made more difficult based on your track arrangement. This operation can take as little as five minutes to complete and you can use it as a little break from your daily grind. Operation number two is called the switcheroo. Hey, that rhymed. For this one, you need six pieces of rolling stock and enough siding space to store them. You'll also need a single die and a locomotive. This works best if you have two sidings oriented the same way. This little operation isn't exactly prototypical, but it's more of a brain teaser. You'll assign your six cars a number one through six. You then roll the die twice or until you get two different numbers. The two numbers you will get will correspond to two of the cars. You will need to switch the position of the cars from one to the other and then put the remaining cars back in the same spot where they started for by the end of the switching operation. So let's say, for example, you roll a three and a five. Car number three will need to be put in car number five spot and car number five will need to be put in car number three spot. And then you just put all the rest of them back where they were when they started the entire operation. This little operation, it gives you a basic switching puzzle that doesn't take much time, but can help stretch that brain muscle and will take about 15 to 25 minutes to complete. Okay, so number three is a bit more challenging and does require some additional sightings or a small yard. This one is called the train build. The train build is exactly that. You'll need 12 cars for this one and enough space to store them, as well as a pair of dice. You will be building a six car train. To do this, position your cars on the sightings and then assign them numbers one through 12. Yes, I know that probability makes some numbers more likely to pop up than others. You will then roll the dice until you get six different numbers. Now, on that first roll, you should just roll it with a single die so that you can at least have the chance of rolling a one because you can't get a one with a pair of dice. These six numbers will be the six cars you assemble on the train. You will assemble them in order that you roll the numbers so a piece of paper will come in handy for writing that order down. Now, you can add a level of difficulty with things such as you can only grab one car at a time or having to place cars back exactly where they are for the ones that you don't use. Once you've assembled the train, you can use your locomotive to haul it around the layout. This is the long one, and it's probably going to take you about a half hour to complete, but it's a load of fun. 
Now, don't get me wrong on any of this. Those operations that take hours or even a day to run and maybe take multiple people, those are a ton of fun, but we also don't always have time for those kind of operations. If you've got 15 minutes, you can do a little switching operation on your layout. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.